Welcome back to our Canvas course design series. So in the last video, we looked at our course evaluation checklist and we looked at how we could sketch out um, a Canvas course design template. And now we're ready to go hop into Canvas and do the fun part of building out. So this first video here is just going to be talking about our course homepage and setup because we're going to be looking at this course evaluation criteria here. So I'm going to show you these foundational skills for your homepage, your course navigation, um, your key learning information and class expectations, policies, requirements and contact information. So we're going to build it out. So let's get started. I've got a sample uh, Canvas course here. This is a blank course, just how it, how we all see them, unless your school or district has provided you with a course template. Uh, so we're gonna, just going to go ahead and go over to Pages and on our course navigation menu, and we're going to click on Plus Page, and we're just going to call this our Welcome. Um, now, in all full transparency, before we got started, I did create um, a course banner using the tool um, Canva, which you can get a free license as an educator, Canva for Educators, which I highly recommend. Um, so I made just a course banner that we're going to put on this welcome page. And then I made um, some course dividers. Um, so I love the idea of kind of breaking up the content in my page. Uh, so what, in Canva, you can create a custom dimension image. Um, and so this is a thousand pixels wide by 50 pixels tall. Um, and so these work really well as little dividers in our course uh, to help break up the information and help give some visual cues about what information's here. Um, I did not go full out uh, graphic designer on this. This is uh, pretty basic. It's a solid color. I just put text over it for some of our popular things that we're going to talk about in our course. So I used to teach seventh grade social studies. So we're going right back home for me. Um, so I've got a, you know, what's happening this week in class, contact information about me. And then I always like to say what next. Uh, so that way at the bottom of each page, there's like a little bit of information about students um, and what they need to be doing next to help prompt them. And then I just made some solid blue and green dividers to help break up content when we get to the content pages later. So please don't be scared. This is not, um, you know, once you've designed these, you know, you can have them and you can use them throughout your whole class. Even if you just want to use just plain ones that don't have text on them, um, that's still a good visual cue to help students break up the information that's in your course. All right. So I've got my sample page here. I'm going to start with my banner. So I'm going to go into my images and you can either upload the image if you haven't yet, or I went ahead and uploaded them into the file section. So I'm going to choose course images and I'm going to start with our course header and you notice that comes in and I'm just going to click on it because I want to go into image options. So just to show you, um, you have, um, what's called alt text here on every image that you put into your canvas course and that's something we'll talk about when we get to accessibility but basically it's for anyone who has a screen reader um, what that image would be so um, I always recommend putting some descriptive text in here so I'm just going to type in um, course um, I'm just going to type in whatever the image says so I'm going to say uh, welcome to Great. Social studies when because keep in mind, even if your students um, may not have a screen reader, their adults at home might have a screen reader. They might have um, a guardian or parent that has a screen reader and has that disability and needs that accessibility, so they might be visiting your page as well. Um, and then I'm going to go down here and click done. And now, you know, their accessibility images are there. Um, one thing I'm going to point out in the rich text editor is over here, the drop down next to your um, size for your font, there's the different um, 
formats for your text, um, do you try to get in the habit of using headings and then paragraph? Um, just so that way it also helps with accessibility um, and it makes it um, scale correctly on a mobile device because your students might be accessing your course on a mobile device. Uh, so if you get into the habit of just using, you know, headings and uh, welcome to our classroom. Uh, and then we'll go down paragraphs. Uh, I am so excited to get to know you and explore um, concepts in world history. All right, so welcome to our classroom. We've got a little welcome message there. I'm going to go in and put in one of our headers. Um, so looking back at our course evaluation, um, we wanted to make sure that we have um, some learning information, uh, class expectations, and contact information is everything we need. So we're going to go, I'm going to go back to my images and go back to my course images. And remember, I made that um, this week in social studies. So I'm going to put that there and that's going to stay there. And then I'm just going to enter down a couple of times to kind of give out some space. And I'm going to put in um, my about. Again, I'm just going to hit re return a couple of times to give myself a couple of lines to go back in and fill in and uh, contact information. All right. So on this home page. We're going to have a little bit about um, this week. We will close that out so it's a little bit bigger. This week we will um, explore um, pandemics and epidemics in our history. And how they um, affect society. All right. A little bit about me. Uh, my bachelor got her degree from Carolina University and loves all things um, maybe I want to put a picture in here so I'm going to go back into that images I'm going to course images and I had put a little headshot in there um, now this is going to be too big I can go ahead and tell you. Um, so we click on the little drag. And we're going to keep making it a little bit smaller. There we go. That looks better. And then with my image options, I might put it all the way over here. And I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. There we go. All right, um, I have taught seventh grade social studies for eight years. I live with my husband and two children and one All right, so one thing I'm going to fix on the design here that I'm seeing is you see this white space here from my course dividers. So if I go back into the image options, um, we can see the size ratio about them. I also want to check um, the make sure that that alt text, right? So about bachelor. So let me just go in each one of these 
and that one is okay because I named if you name the image um, what the text says then you don't um, it'll automatically pick it up in canvas about what the alt text should be so um, those ones are okay I'm going to switch really quickly into our HTML mode because I want these headers and our, um, our dividers to be the entire width of our um, page. And there's a real easy way you can do that. So don't be scared. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. And this will make um, these dividers responsive. So that means even if a student is working on their or looking on their mobile phone, um, these dividers will shrink and expand as needed to take up the whole space like I want. So I'm going to click on one of the images and then I'm going to go into the HTML editor, which is the um, two carrots. And I'm going to go into my images and where I see width, instead of it being whatever um, that number is, we're going to type in 100%. So I'm just going to go through here and wherever I see an image and width and, you know, whatever those numbers are, we're just going to put in 100%. We're going to leave the height alone because we're just looking at the image width. All right, so... I'm not, I'm going to leave my headshot image alone because I liked how the sizing of that. All right. And so we're going to save. And so now we can see that our dividers are nicely spaced out and I'm going to go back in and edit because I wasn't done. So I'm going to pause for the video for just a second and I'm going to enter in my contact information and a little bit more detail here on this page, just some more text. We're coming back here and I have filled out some information a little bit more on my homepage here for my course. So I have my banners, I have, um, you know, my learning outcomes for what we're studying this week. Um, I have a little bit about myself on the homepage. I have my contact information down here, um, along with what my planning time is. And, you know, I check emails before and after school. My email address is, um, you can put any other contact information um, there that's applicable, relevant. Uh, if you have any policies at your school about um, when email is checked and those kinds of things, you can definitely list those out here. We're going to go ahead and click on save and publish because I want this page to be published. And we can see here that we have um, the page and just look at it and make sure it looks good. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to work on the navigation of the page. So by default, um, Canvas has all of these things on the side in our course navigation, and it can get really um, confusing for students because they're not sure where to click. So I'm gonna show you next that if we go into our settings in our course navigation menu, and then we go to navigation, we can actually um, remove most of these things, which I encourage you to do. So I, um, for my students, I only let them see announcements and modules. Um, because I don't want them going right into quizzes or assignments um, because I want them to follow the flow of the course. And I feel like if we give them an option, um, so I'm just clicking and dragging all of these things down. I might leave grades up there um, just so that way they can see what their current grades are. But I really only like to have a couple of options at the top here. So home, announcements, grades, and modules. I'm, I'm gonna move modules up under the top uh, because I'm gonna show you module design uh, because that really brings out a lot of the great features in Canvas. All right, so we've got home, modules, announcements, and grades. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click save at the bottom of the page. And now when I go home, I'm going, I still see this yucky, create a new module page. I'm gonna go over here now and say, choose home page. And I'm going to use um, a front page, which I have to go set first. So if I go back to my pages, notice that even though um, these are now hidden from student view, cause you see the little um, eyeball with the cross um, symbol next to them, you can still get them as, uh, so I'm gonna choose my three dots here next to my page that I just created, and I'm gonna say use as front page. Now I can go back to my home page and click on choose home page, and there's that 
pages front page so now when my students welcome to my class they see my banner they see um, this information here and you'll notice that my text got a little bit off right here so i'm going to need to go in and fix that real quick that's something that happens when you make your page um, a home page because it um, sometimes just there we go that should fix it there we go all right so um, when you make a page a home page, uh, sometimes it changes the dimensions just a little bit. So you have to change your text, but everything looks good. And now if I go into student view, which is that, um, those little glasses in the top, uh, right corner of the page, I can see how my students will see this class. Notice they only have a home and grades buttons. Um, even though I put modules and announcements because I haven't created any modules or announcements yet. So they haven't got there. So this is how um, you can create a welcoming and inviting homepage with information that's relevant um, to your students and their adults at home. And in our next video, we're gonna jump into modules.